This is the weather forecast video for Tuesday, April the 10th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, some thunderstorms over Oklahoma into Texas, producing some severe weather there, and another storm moving into the west coast, producing some rain and high elevation snow in that area. The watch morning map at midnight, freeze warning across almost the entire state of Iowa except the southeast, freeze watches farther to the east and south, severe thunderstorm and tornado watches to our south, and red flag warnings over the mid-Atlantic. And here's the QBF chart, precipitation through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock shows some decent amounts of rain coming from anywhere between maybe three quarters of an inch and upwards of maybe one or two inches in western Iowa where they're in moderate to severe drought. So let's take a look at it with the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. A trough over the upper Midwest and Great Lakes into the Northeast with a ridge over the mountain states. And some storms over Oklahoma and Texas will be the closest precip to us. Frosty morning this morning and possibly again even Wednesday morning with the cold air streaming in. And Wednesday still somewhat cold especially in the northeastern half of the state temperatures both today and tomorrow will be in the 50s cooler today than on Wednesday Thursday temperatures begin to climb at least to the upper 50s to mid 60s with some increasing clouds from the west could see a late day shower especially in the western counties and Friday you can see here comes the first piece of energy over Colorado Kansas with another much stronger piece of energy about to slam into San Francisco with the first storm a low over South Dakota with some showers and thunderstorms looks to be most of the severe weather will stay to our south and west but things could change on that front moving ahead to Saturday the first system departs the second storm comes into eastern Colorado and we could see some more shower showers and thunderstorms with this system but this system is going to be, at least on this run, is a little more discombobulated. The low is kind of all over the place, some showers and storms, but it looks like it's going to be veering more to our south and east. And by Monday, there will be some showers and thunderstorms from the, from the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley down into Texas and seemingly skipping the state again. But the QPF shows decent amounts of rain, even by here on Tuesday, next Tuesday, we have some energy moving through with a trough axis, then a ridge to our southeast over Florida and to our west. And there's the storm producing all that rain, where here it's not doing much of anything except some decrease in clouds possibly from northwest to southeast and turning slightly cooler. A few days later on the 21st, which will be a week from Saturday, a pretty zonal flow across the country, at least the northern jet, an upper level feature over northern Mexico. But that cold pool of air over Canada is going to sweep down a front from the north, bringing some showers across our area next weekend. So this weekend and the following weekend don't look very promising. And at the end of the forecast, on the 25th, Another trough coming in with a ridge over the southeast once more and one over the far west. And another cold front comes that could bring some more cooler air down after that. But by this point, it's nearing the end of April. So any cool air will likely be 50s and 60s. So thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Wednesday.